Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures big or small and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife, Melissa, and our three kids, life is pretty full. But there isn't a mountain we can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode. I am headed back to the Potter's house. This time, I'm bringing company with me. I got the big guns, Dave. We are taking a washer and dryer. We're taking some other cleaning supplies because we have a renter for the home. Now, we've had it listed for sale for a little while, and it is a slower market. It's a small town, but somebody wanted to rent it, a young family. I'm going to go out there and meet them, get the house ready, and go on an adventure with Dave today. Yep, for a highway trip? Absolutely. Okay, we're going to hit the road. We are ready for a highway adventure. I did new spark plugs in it yesterday, topped up the oil. We should be good to go. Three hours, here we go. <laughs> Dave. So what's new with you, Dave? Nothing much, just working and sleeping. Working and doing it at the same time? <laughs> you, you might not like that. <laughs> I try not to do it at I the same time. I know you're a multitasker, but... Yeah, not quite that well, no. So what's the big seller right now at Home Depot? Big seller right now is, well, it's fall, so it's going to be rakes. We get rakes and everybody's trying to finish their final projects off, so. That's how they, maybe that's where the expression, they're raking in the cash comes from. Yeah, yeah and, and heaters, portable heaters. We can't stock them enough. It's hard to believe it's almost been a year. Well, come January, it'll be a year when I bought this house, and we could have used a few portable heaters then, too. Oh, God, yes. Oh, it was bad. But now it's toasty warm, ready for a new family. And um, yeah, they got young kids right next door to the elementary school. I think it's going to work out perfect for them. I think it'll be a nice house for them. For yeah. a young family? Oh, yeah. Perfect house for young family. Lots of bedrooms. And although we had some showings on the home, we decided that if it got to fall and we hadn't a serious offer on the home, we would put it up for rent. So I advertised it online as a possible rental property and we did have a few interested parties. We did have a young couple with some kids. They wanted to rent the home. It's very close to the elementary school. And we thought, well, hey, this is a great opportunity to have somebody in the house over winter and to make sure that a new family had a new place to live. And if our old location doesn't sell where our store was, we may look at renting it out as well. It's empty, it's ready to go, all we need is a new tenant for that space, and then we won't have to worry about sitting on multiple mortgages any longer. We can move along into our new location and just be a little bit more stress-free. But that's another day and another time. For now, we're headed out to Provost to work on the house. So this is the property which I bought. You kind of can't see it right now because it's treed. It's on, I would say about a half acre of land. It's a double lot. It's a two story home. Actually, it's got a third story attic. And structurally, when I was in there yesterday, it didn't seem that bad. So I'm hoping that we can do something with it. A lot of these trees will probably have to go so you can see the front, but kind of get an idea. That's what I just bought. So we'll walk around the front here. So there's no garage on the property. This little addition here is not in the greatest shape. Clothesline. It's actually a nice little piece of land, really. Some nice trees up front. And see some structural issues with the corner of the addition here. So I guess this would be the front walk right here. And then you can see the front of the house here. After walking in the front door, we're greeted by a generous sunroom or sitting room, which is heated. And we enter through the main door, which is made of solid hemlock, custom built, an exact replica of the original front door. No expense spared on this door. We come into the main entrance where we've got a sitting area. Nice little stove. 
dining room, little sideboard. We walk through into our fabulous kitchen area, which features a lean bar complete with custom seats, custom counters, and a craftfully recreated vintage looking kitchen, which is all brand new, aside from the appliances. Beautifully replicated cabinetry, as seen in our video. Brand new tiles, brand new paint. We have room for a built-in dishwasher. We've got the original sink to the house, apron sink, back in place. And it's just a stunning combination. The antique butcher block sets it off and gives us a nice country feel to the kitchen. We have brand new windows all throughout the home. And we've even done a little custom work back here and now have a built-in pantry right off the kitchen, which gives you ample room for extra storage. Now, one thing I might not have mentioned is that the fridge is working, the stove would work as well. However, we built um, them for modern convenience. The height right here is built for a modern full-size double door fridge. This fridge is sitting on a platform, essentially just in place right now for show, but if you were to take that out, it just comes out, um, then you would be able to put a modern fridge in, no problem. Also the stove, we have it set up, it's a gas stove. Uh, the stove itself is, uh, is a functioning gas stove, however, we've also left the electrical outlet for, uh, if you want to put an electric stove or gas, you have your choice. Off the living room, we have a little hallway, and in this hallway we will find main floor washroom complete with clawfoot tub, original hardwood floors, brand new window, and original vintage cabinets. The toilet is brand new, and the plumbing throughout the entire house has been redone. Near the rear of the house, what was once a mudroom, an extra kitchen, is now a main floor laundry. Washer and dryer. Now, this is an antique washing machine, which does work. It is set up. However, it is ready to go to put a brand new washing machine in place, should you choose to do so. From the laundry room and passing by the washroom, we come into the formal living room. So we have a seating area, custom made trunk table, brand new carpet on the floor, we have a brand new deck right off the side. New paint, new trim, new windows. And yes, it's a lovely size, nice big space. And to give you an idea of where we're standing, there's the front door. You walk into the front entrance and it goes into the dining room and kitchen, stairwell. And I'm in a little hallway passageway here. This goes into the living room, back there's the laundry room and washroom. Now let's go upstairs. The second floor washroom features custom Moroccan style tile, brand new with a complimentary brand new toilet, new vanity, all the plumbing of course redone, original claw foot tub with shower attachment. The master bedroom features Again, two nice windows with completely refinished and stained window casings, brand new windows in place with a lovely view of the front yard out the window. As fall is upon us and a new year is about to begin, I am back at the Potter's house probably the last time this year, I hope. But this time it's to find a new resident, a new caretaker in this home for the next little while. Hopefully they love it and enjoy it. Okay. You just want to watch that hole on the floor when you slide it back. Yeah, so the leg doesn't drop it. Well, I think that's about all you're gonna get. Unless I move it over to the left more. I can move it to the left and I'll go closer to the wall. 
There you go. You guys close to the door. Let's see. Okay, that's probably good. Okay. Now, which one's hot and which one's cold? <laughs> that's a great question. I don't know the answer to. <laughs> Dave is downstairs getting the washer and dryer hooked up. And one thing that I told the renters is that in the old days, people really didn't have closets. They had wardrobes or they used dressers. Um, and since having a place to hang clothes is important to a lot of people, I compromised and brought a couple of the uh, clothing racks that I had uh, at the store. Now, funny enough, the only reason I have these clothing racks is because when we emptied out this house, I had so many clothes I was selling, I needed a rack. Now the racks are here and the clothes are all gone. Well, newer washer and dryer are in place. Better make sure to turn these lights off. It's pretty well empty. Newer fridge and stove. Make things a little bit easier for the new family. So that's it. This is what happens with the Potter's house. It ends up finding a nice young family to move into it who is right across the street from their grandmas and two doors over from their elementary school. It really couldn't have worked out better to find a great family like this for this home. The keys have been handed off and now I get to uh, not worry so much about trying to sell it and just uh, let a family live in it for a while. A nice uh, way to close this chapter on this story. I had to stop for gas. I am uh, chasing daylight here right now. If you can see behind me, but the sun is starting to go down. It's almost 7 p.m. mid-October. Surprisingly, no snow as of yet. Um, really, just kind of a quick visit at the Potter's house today. Um, I rushed. We had um, I, the the new tenants had let me know that they wanted to come have a look at it. We said four o'clock, but we didn't get out there till three. So I had an hour to install a washer and dryer, get a new hose, get dryer venting for it. Um, it was a lot of work to get done in, uh, in an hour's time, but we did it. Did it so fast I forgot to film it. <laughs> but this is just a quick update video anyhow. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the series and uh, following along. Um, although this is a, qu a quick and fast update, I know a lot of you were curious to know what was happening with the, uh, with the Potter's Hose. So thanks again, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you all soon. Bye for now.